Hello, excuse me. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. It's, it's just my car's broke down outside and I don't have my phone on me. Can I borrow yours? How did you get in here? The door was open. Look, I'm not here to hurt you or anything. It's just, I want to get home to my family, please. Thank you so much. There you go. Thanks again. That's all right, it's not a problem. Do you mind if I leave you while you make the call? It's just I need to go and check on something. No, no, not at all. If you're going to check on your daughter, she's fine. And if you scream or shout for your daughter, things are going to end badly. What have you done with Jessica? Nothing. More than you can say. What? Why don't we go back into the room and we can discuss tonight's outcomes. Trust me, that's the wrong decision to make. I'm afraid, Jane, it's me asking the questions tonight, not you. You know me? You don't know me. <laughs> Have a seat. I didn't come here tonight to hurt you or your daughter. In fact, I came for the opposite reason. I just want the answer to one question. Do you love your daughter? I'm sorry? Do you love your daughter? Of course I do. Well, that's a start then. Excuse me? Love is the easiest part of being a parent. I mean, who doesn't love their child? And do you think you do the absolute best for your daughter? Look, I don't know why you're here and why you're asking me these things. But I'm not going to sit here and play this pathetic game. You think this is a game? You know, I hate games. I hate board games, computer games, any type of sports. I guess you could say I'm a rather serious person. Now I'm serious when I say this, Jane. Do not insult me by saying this is a mere game. Now answer the question. I do my best. Really? You do your best? I came here tonight to speak to you. I thought getting in without startling you would be the hard part. But the door was unlocked yet again. You didn't go and check on your daughter yet again. You just proceeded into the studio where you put your headphones on. If your daughter needed you, how would she get your attention? I've counted four days in a row. You come in here and rehearse all night long while your daughter sleeps upstairs in a cold, dark room. She wants to be here. She doesn't want to be away from me. I don't blame her, Jane. I mean, you rehearse all night long. You teach all day. When is she going to spend time with you? I do those things that I can provide for her. You don't give a damn about your daughter. All you care about is your selfish, vain desire. Who do you think you are? I mean, you think you can just walk in here, take me prisoner, threaten my daughter, lecture me on my moral decisions? I'll tell you who you are. You're an evil, twisted bastard. Is this how you get your kicks? Torturing innocent people? You're a no one. You're nothing. You know nothing about me. I'm leaving. And I'm taking my daughter with me. And if you try and 
stop me. You will regret it. Give that to me. Jane, give me the hammer now. Now come on. Jane. You said I had no idea what it was like to be a parent. I had a daughter once. Her name was Sean. I believed you knew her. You had all the time in the world for my daughter. You trained with her every spare moment that you had. You praised her to everyone that you met and your daughter, she just stood and watched. Do you know my wife invited her round for dinner when she found out that she was having microwave meals most evenings. You know, I watched your daughter in your dance class begging for some attention and you gave her nothing. Please don't do Do you know she said to my wife she hated you? Please stop talking. Do you know what I find interesting? Where were you when my daughter spent the last two years dying of cancer? No. That's because you was using her you didn't care about her, you didn't care about your daughter. All you cared about was your selfish plans. I knew my daughter was the route to your fame. After you realised you had no hope of doing it on your own. Why didn't she tell me why she had to leave? Jane, she was 10 years old. She didn't understand why she couldn't go anymore. Why didn't you tell me? I could have done something. I could have helped. We knew she wouldn't survive to being successful. And we wanted her to spend the rest of her time with people who cared about her, not people who would use her. I cared about your daughter. It crushed me when you took her away. She was so talented and so modest. She was everything that I wanted to be when I was her age. Do you know why I treated my daughter the way I did? 
It's because I saw myself in her and it made me sick. It's our responsibility, Jane, to love our children unconditionally and be responsible to shape them and not leave them to fail. I am so sorry, but that was three years ago. I was young and I was naive, and I swear to you that I have changed. I would do anything for my daughter. I would give up dancing if that's what made her happy. Dancing means nothing to me compared to her. And I realise that now. Goodbye, Jane. Yeah. 